It had happened before at Oklahoma State. A random name in a recruiting class develops into an All-American, a national award winner, a cowboy legend. There was a little known running back named Barry Sanders. There was a small town center named Bryant Reeves. And there was Justin Blackman. So we first heard about Justin playing high school basketball. You know, it's from a small community just uh, outside of Ardmore. And they went down and checked him out. They were very excited about his athleticism, uh, ball skills and such. And then we got him into a camp and really liked his skill set. Yeah, my first impression of Justin was, you know, one, just how, uh, how laid back he was, first, first and foremost. But, um, you know, even before on the football field, I remember being in the, the Colvin Center playing basketball, and I saw him playing basketball. I'm like, man, this guy's... This guy's pretty special. He hadn't really played much football. He'd been on the practice squad and done some stuff there, but you know, watching him handle the basketball, go up and rebound and, and jump and dunk and do all those things, I'm like, man, if he can take this to the football field, we, we might have something special. You know what's interesting is he redshirted here. We sent him to scout team and never really even thought about pulling him up. He didn't do a lot that made us say, we need to pull this guy up. And then the spring, he lit it up. And we started looking back and we were thinking, why was this guy redshirting? The athletic but unknown Justin Blackman blossomed at Oklahoma State. He redshirted in 2008 and caught 20 passes for 260 yards in 2009 as a freshman. Those first two rather pedestrian years in Stillwater just whetted the appetite for what was to come. As a redshirt sophomore in 2010, Blackman became the best wide receiver in the country. His 111 catches, 1,782 receiving yards, and 20 touchdown catches earned him Big 12 Offensive Player of the Year honors, a first for a Cowboy since Barry Sanders in 1988. He was a unanimous All-American, and he won the Bolitnikoff Award as the nation's top receiver. He helped lead Oklahoma State to the first 11-win season in school history and a share of the Big 12 South title. I think back to we went to Louisiana Lafayette, and we are playing really poorly on offense in the first half and he didn't have a ton of targets I mean he may have had one or two catches and I remember um, you know in the second half he was double covered and I shouldn't have thrown the ball to him but I'm like we got to get a spark we got to make something happen and, and get in the end zone and I forced one to the right corner of the end zone he goes over the guy's back completely you know mosses him and, and, and catches that ball and I just remember for me knowing how bad of a throw it was on my part for him to make me look good and uh, to kind of light a spark in our sideline. I think that for me is the one that stands out that, hey, you know what, this dude's for real. And, uh, and then he just did it for about 20, 20 plus more games. In 2010, Blackman did it as an unknown. In 2011, he did it as a marked man, facing junk defenses, double coverages, and always tagged by the opposition as OSU's most dangerous offensive weapon Blackman caught 122 passes for more than 1,500 yards with 18 touchdowns. In his final game at Oklahoma State, he was named the most outstanding offensive player in the Cowboys' Fiesta Bowl win over number four Stanford. He would finish the game with nine catches for 186 yards and a Fiesta Bowl record three touchdowns. So Justin had what I call competitive speed, very similar to Hartley Dykes, in that maybe if you put a watch on him, it's not great, but I never saw either one of those guys get caught in a game. Unbelievable ball skills and strong hands, and had a great ability to leap and take the ball at the highest point. One game after clinching its first Big 12 championship with a romp over Oklahoma, the win over Stanford completed Oklahoma State's first ever 12-win season. The Cowboys would end their year ranked a school best number three in the Associated Press poll. Blackman's dominance on the field is documented with a lengthy list of records and accomplishments in his wake. He was OSU's seventh two-time All-American. He is one of just two players to win the Blitnikoff Award twice, and he is the only player in college football history to have 14 straight games with 100 receiving yards and a touchdown catch. And what he did is he played the best in big games, like the Fiesta Bowl, like the, the fourth down catches he made on the road at Texas when they were playing man coverage back then. They had really good NFL corners and safeties. They couldn't cover him. The moment was never too big. The numbers made his case. The big plays illustrated his intangibles, and the results remain historic. Justin Blackman is truly a cowboy legend, and now a member of the OSU Hall of Honor. <laughs>